Hey you guys, this is your girl Danielle Speaks and um, I just wanted to take time and first of all I'm going to apologize for these vlogs being late. Um, it has been like full steam ahead since I got back from South Carolina and while I was on the trip I made the conscious decision that I didn't want to take, besides my camera, I didn't want to take anything with me that had to do with editing. Um, no laptop, no no anything, because I wanted to stay in the moment of either what God was trying to pour into me or what he wanted to pour out of me. So um, I made the conscious decision of not taking any kind of um, software or anything of that nature with me. But, um, yeah, so now I'm back, and I kind of want to walk you guys through the, the, the journey that you um, took part of to, to even get me to Alaska. Uh, who, who'd ever thought? I, I, no, I never did, but I'm so grateful for. So take a look at the beginning of the journey, and then I'll come back in just a little while, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk some more. All right, you guys. Hey everybody, this is Danielle Speaks. I have my nice little warm coat here that I'm going to need. So. A lot of you have been asking me to track my progress um, as I leave out for this missions trip and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pan around. This is the group that I'm going with. We make up about nine different churches. That's the van behind us that we're going to leave out just shortly to get to the airport. And yeah, here we go. Finally made it. Oh, it took forever. Forever and ever. So, the journey to in itself was a journey. Um, I even got to a point where on the trip down there, um, I was kind of distracted in a sense because as soon as we, we reached to Alaska and it took us about a day and a half to get there, we missed our first flight, um, only because we were sitting at the, the, the gate that we were supposed to be at the, the, on the way to the airport, they had already changed the gate twice. So we get to the airport that the ticket agent told us to be at, um, uh, only to where it got closer to our plane about to leave. We're looking around, we're like, there's nobody here, but all the flights are booked. Like this, this something's going on to find out that not only had they changed the gate, but they had changed the time. The plane had had been left. Um, and not only left just uh, my, my traveling companion and, and, and I, my, Matt, who were on the, the missionary team, um, which was split up a in four planes because all the flights were so booked we couldn't all ride on the same plane so it ended up being Matt and I. Um, so there was pr approximately, I want to say it was like 16 people who got left from that flight because of the gate change and the time change. Um, so we, we missed it. So they ended up checking my bag at the gate 
But when we got to Alaska, there was just no record of it. Like they couldn't find it. And that particular um, bag had the rest of my camera equipment with it. So yes, I was kind of uh, uh, di- kind of distracted, but not really. Cause I was like, God, I want to stay again. I want to stay in this moment. I want to stay just uh, um, looking at the beauty. Like this is a this is an opportunity to just look and see what you have created. And I wanted to stay in that place. But a part of me, and I had even posted it on social media, just how it hits differently. Um, because I've been in ministry, full time ministry for for twelve years. And for anybody who knows about ministry, is not of the fainted heart. Like. Everything that we get to even get out on the road or to stay out on the road comes from us working jobs when we when we get off the road and the you, the viewers, sponsoring and giving. So to even get the equipment to um like everything was a conglomerate and and it takes so long to get the finances together to get it. I was more frustrated of to me it wasn't just a bag to me it was years it was years because that stuff took so long to be able to 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 get the stuff together that I needed to be on the trip so I had to I had to dial it in to say all right Lord I want to stay in this moment with you I want to stay in what it is that you're trying to show me and if you see that I'm coddling this coffee is because I'm like really really tired so <laughs> I'm trying to like uh, get these together and, and, and coffee is giving me like extra life right now. So thank you for bearing with me. But that's the reason why it kind of bothered me because to some people it symbolized it was just a bag. But to me, it symbolized years. It was years of, of working. It was years of people giving and me saving up and just being, trying to be diligent about the spending to have everything that was in that bag just for it to be like, oh, well, we have no record of it. We don't know where it is. Um, sorry. And then not only that, we, it, it, it's, we flew in on one airline to get to the Alaska airline, but the Alaska airline um, was not the flight that it, it came in on. It came on on a total different airline. So that's three different airlines that we're dealing with, with the bag that only flew in on one airline. So it was crazy, but I did get to enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed the, the rest of the trip of what I was about. I'm sorry, not what I was, but what I was able to film. And thank you.